Well, I gotta admit to you, this is my <laughs> this is my fifth take on this video. My notes are all over the place on this next song I want to talk to you about. And that's my chicken scratch right there. And there's part two. <laughs> there are so many angles to go at this record that I just oh god. Well, let's try it again. Take five. Boom. Take five. Song coming in at number 28 on WTBC's Top 30 Survey the week of July 18, 1973. George Harrison, Give Me Love, Give Me Peace on Earth. That was a hot rotation record that summer. May, late May, June, going into July 1973. Dropping off of WTBC's playlist, though, WTBC's playlist. Uh, it was at number 19 the previous week. I'm sure it was at least, at, probably at number one on their survey. Give Me Love by George Harrison. It's from his album, Living in a Material World. George Harrison. Let me, let, let, let me talk first about how this song was made. The basic track. Of this record was laid down in the fall of 1972. George Harrison had some help from a former uh, Beatle engineer. His name was Phil McDonald. They laid down the basic track together. A couple of months later, January, February 1973, George Harrison came back to the basic track, his track. He started o overdubbing. He overdubbed his slide guitar part, his brilliant slide guitar part, into the overdub. Also, I found this out. I was thrilled to find this out. I just couldn't believe it. It's like, God, I gotta share this. A guy named Nicky Hopkins played piano on this record. Nicky Hopkins played on Rolling Stones. He played on some of the big hit records by the Rolling Stones. He played the piano on Angie. He also played one of the best songs by the Rolling Stones, I thought. She's a rainbow back in late 67, early 68. This was back when the Stones were in their psychedelic phase when they were doing songs like Dandelion and then She's a Rainbow came after that. Well, the piano part, the prominent piano part that opened the record. The beautiful, the scintillating, the absolutely, I, I can't even think of the word right now. That gorgeous piano part. Die for that piano part. Played by Nicky Hopkins. He played it. Oh, she's a rainbow. He plays guitar. Well, oh, he plays piano on this record by George Harrison. Give me love, give me peace on earth. George Harrison on a spiritual quest. There's no question about it. He is paradoxical. Because you're a human being. You, you want to go for the spiritual realm. But you got the carnal. You got the you got earth. You got the world to deal with. You're trying to reconcile all these elements. George Harrison's uh, first album, well, his first big, well, his first solo album, All Things Must Pass, which was co-produced with Phil Spector. There was a couple of songs on that album, uh, Run of the Mill and Art of Dying, where George Harrison, with his uh, belief in Eastern uh, religions, uh, embraced reincarnation, rebirth, karma. But on this record though, it seems like he's a little ambivalent about it. Give me love, give me peace on earth is his vision of life and the physical world that is devoid of the burden. You don't have to worry about karma. You don't have to worry about rebirth or reincarnation. You're free from that. You're not in the cycle. What would life be like if you're not in the cycle of rebirth, death, rebirth, reincarnation? Here's a lyric from that song. I'll give it to you right now. Straight from Wikipedia. Here it is. Give me love. Give me love. Give me peace on earth. Give me light. Give me life. Keep me free from birth. Heavy stuff, man. But it's George Harrison. Got into that Eastern religions back. Hinduism. Back at the Maharishi. The Beatles did that sabbatical with the Maharishi. Remember that? In India in 1968, George Harrison didn't want the group members to write songs, but they did anyway. Dear Prudence emerged from that uh, sabbatical with the, with the Maharishi in 1968. And also, uh, back in the USSR, I mean, a, a 50s redux. <laughs> co-written with one of the Beach Boys back in the USSR at least inspired by the Beach Boys uh, also 
at least the template laid down on that sabbatical with the Maharishi. The Beatles were meeting with the Maharishi in Wales in 1967 when Paul McCartney, he took the phone. They got the word that their manager, Brian Epstein, had died. Or Brian Epstein, Epstein had died from a drug overdose. Prescription drugs, not the hard stuff. I guess that's all I got to say about this record. You know, I, I want to mention something else about his first album, his first solo album, Live in the Material World. Now, on this, well, I mean, all things must pass, rather. Living in the Material World, George Harrison went for a more conservative, a more sparse, a pared-down style. His first album was a whopper, man. You, you got Phil Spector, Wall of Sound on this record. Uh... My sweet Lord, and what is life? My goodness, Phil Spector, he made that song. I'm going to tell you right now, George Harrison, he laid down the guitar part. But Phil Spector, it was him who layered that record with the bells and whistles, with the guitar overdubs, with the with the echoes. It was Phil Spector. He, he, he juiced the record up. It's like taking a, a two-cylinder two engine and revving that thing up to a 16-cylinder engine. What is life? It was Phil Spector, but he rejected that on his second album. Or just, I want to go for something else. I'm just going to play with my fellow band members. Nothing fancy. Give me love. Give me peace on earth. That's all I got to say about this record. I'm done. Fifth take. I guess that wasn't so bad after all. <laughs> uh, number 19. No, I take that back. Number 28. WTBC 1230 WTBC Tuscaloosa, their top 30 survey the week of July 18, 1973.